A Castro Valley family is saying that they're worried sick about their 12-year-old foster son. He ran away, and no one has seen him since February 16th, and now they're asking the public to look out for him. Crown Forest Amanda Harry spoke exclusively with his parents about their son. He thinks he's got this world figured out, so he's, you know, not super worried or afraid or whatever, and um, I'm, I'm, I'm super afraid where he's at. Katrina Harstad was visibly emotional when she told me about her foster son, Karan Shabazz. It's super scary. Um, he's 12, um, but he's super smart, so he presents as a, a you know, like 14, 15 year old kid. So he's got a personality, he's funny, he's got a great smile, but he is definitely um, smart and uh, convincing. Bryce and Katrina Harstad say he was last seen in Oakland on February 16th. He's 5'5", 210 pounds, and was wearing all black with a black backpack. The Hardstads have been his foster parents since he was three years old. But for the last year, he's been in group homes to receive assistance. The group homes have been kind of tough for him doesn't want to you know follow the boundaries and he a walls and leaves and usually when he leaves he reaches out to my wife within a day or two but now it's been a couple weeks I'm very concerned they say he likes his freedom and to push boundaries he'll travel he'll get on public transportation and go to san francisco He's tried to jump on an airplane in SFO, and we've got called from TSA agents. They reached out to Oakland police, and they have updated his missing person report, indicating that he has an at-risk health concern. There's a, a missing person alert, but they don't actually look for them. They just, if they make contact, then they could possibly. The Hardstad say they're becoming even more worried because they're unsure if he's taking his medication, which he needs daily. I think the main thing is that he could be in a medical crisis at any moment, which um, presents itself, you know, in lots of ways. She says he will become disoriented, dizzy, and confused. And it's life-threatening, and that's, like, my biggest fear right now. The family is asking people to contact the Oakland Police Department if they have any information about Quran. Amanda Harry, Cron 4 News.